guys welcome back to my channel Ugh. don't you hate when your hair gets caught in your armpit so today for our video i just have a haul i know i know i've really been hauling way too much lately and after this i'm seriously going on a no buy along with this haul i have a gratis haul to share with you guys since you guys enjoyed them so um there's a gratis haul stuff that i got from sephora um, a few things that I got from MAC, Alta, and a few things from Mary Kay that my friend Ashley got me. Ah! Also just have a few things from Lush that I want to share with you guys. Ah! I didn't buy everything within one trip, but let's just jump right into it. If you guys want to see any reviews or demos using these products, please leave a comment down below because um, I probably won't go into full reviews with most of these products since this video is going to be long enough. Um, so just leave a comment down below. Let's first start with gratis. Hello. So the first thing in here is the First Aid Beauty Milk Oil Conditioning Cleanser. This is supposed to condition your skin and remove your makeup at the same time. I don't really like this. I don't think that it does a good job with removing makeup, unfortunately, but I don't know. At least I got to try it, I guess. <laughs> And then we also got this Bumble and Bumble Surf Infusion um, Sea Salt Spray. You just shake it and then you spray it into your hair, wet or dry, either one. Um, and it's just supposed to give a little bit of texture. I find that it kind of makes your hair a little snarly. So just be careful at the end of the day if you brush your hair after you put this product in there. Because um, it can become a little knotty. But it does give it a little texture it looks really natural and then we also got what's called a makeup eraser so i haven't used this yet i really want to it's supposed to remove your makeup you're supposed to wash it first in the washing machine and then dampen it with um warm water and then it's supposed to remove all of your makeup so i'm interested to try this it feels like a soft baby blanket we got two cognac ordeals um this is the exfoliating body sponge from sephora so if you have any um acne like throughout your body the charcoal in this is supposed to help with that and then we got the clean machine cognac sponge duo the green one and the purple one um the green one is green tea and then the purple one is just lavender and i also got the lancome tint miracle uh foundation i was able to choose this with one of my gratis tickets that i got this is in the shade bisque seven i love this stuff because it seriously looks like skin but it's full coverage and it just gives such an awesome appearance to your face i love it and it literally lasts all day and i like that it comes with a pump as well love that stuff and then we also got the first aid beauty eye duty triple remedy overnight balm this is a really hydrating anti-aging eye cream so i like to use that every night just dab it around the orbital bone um, and it's just really hydrating. I really appreciate it. This is the Smashbox Photo Angle Pure Pigment Gel Liner. This is in the shade Jet Black. Oh, it twists. You can never know if it like twists or... You can also use these for eyeshadow bases, which I thought was really cool, and then top it off with any kind of powdered eyeshadow. It looks really nice. And it doesn't budge. I was like, what? Urban Decay Revolutionary High Color Gloss in Bittersweet. This is just like their little purple color. I like the packaging of these. I think they're super cute. And I love the Dova applicator because it makes it really easy to get precision on your lips. And this is just a really nice violet dark purple. Super pretty. I love weird colors on the lips. I think they're totally fun. <laughs> The other lip gloss that we got is from Marc Jacobs. This is the shade Moon Glow, and it's just the high shine lip lacquer that he has. Again, I love the packaging. I think it's super sleek. I love all of his packaging. I don't know why. It's also a really nice Dova applicator, nice and flat, perfect for precision. This is just a really nice baby pink color. I don't really wear a lot of nudes, but uh -huh. maybe I'll just wear this for, I don't know, visiting family or something. <laughs> Another lip product that we got was from Lancome. This is the Shine Lover type of lip balm um, in 357. That's the shade. It's a really nice, like, hot pink color. 
these are really hydrating on the lips and they also kind of stain your lips a little but they don't last as much as i would want it to not gonna lie but these are really nice just for summer if you want to just throw something on to give your face a little bit of color and then we also got the dior cheek and lip glow this is an interesting product it looks like nail polish you have to build it up when you first apply it to your lips you can't really tell that it's there this is the applicator you can't really tell that it's there it's like a sponge but you have to build it up and when you build it up it looks really pretty on the lips it really does it gives like a nice natural flush to the lips i love it i haven't really used it on my cheeks yet but i just really like it honestly just makes your lips glow it's really weird um if you haven't tried it i definitely would try it just give it a whirl see how you like it um i'm sure there's other lip stains that do the same thing but i just really thought that this was interesting i don't like the fr i had to build it up at least three times so i'll pat it onto my lips let it dry um go in again pat it on my lips let it dry and then go in one more time and then it's a really nice glowy color to the lips i really like it it's definitely different and then we also got an urban decay pore perfecting complexion primer potion i've never tried this before it's actually not too bad it is more of a silicone based primer which i really like because it just evens out your skin it makes it super smooth for when you go in with your foundation so that was nice to try out that tube is absolutely huge it'll last you forever and then we also got a mascara from lancome and it's just in the shade black i've never tried this before so i'm really excited to try that we also got the lotus um youth preserve eye cream from fresh this is a really nice eye cream oh my gosh it's good for all skin types it's really hydrating it's really cooling underneath the eye so if you have problems with puffiness this would be your friend it's just so luxurious and so nice but i haven't cracked that open yet i've taken home a few testers just to try it but i want to finish up the um first aid beauty one before i open up another and then we just got this little guy this is the renewed hope in a jar eye cream from philosophy have not tried that yet and then we also got the purity um cleanser from philosophy which is a good cleanser but it also claims to remove makeup and i do not believe it does it doesn't do a good job re removing your makeup but it is a really nice gentle cleanser for every day because it also works as a toner so if you kind of want to cut down on your products that you use on a daily basis for skincare, that would be a good one for you because it would be your toner and your cleanser. Moving on to stuff that I bought from Sephora. So the first thing I got was the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is a concealer and a brightener all in one little product, which I thought was really interesting. And then this is what the product looks like. So it's like a really brightening pink under eye concealer um i'll kind of do like a little swatch it kind of reminds me of the consistency of glue for some reason i don't know um i find that it does brighten it just doesn't really conceal or hide um any blueness that you might have underneath your eye but it definitely does make the under eye area bright as heck and then another thing from becca that i got was the becca mineral blush in damselfly Oh, you guys know I love my peach colors. I hate her packaging though. It looks like a UFO. <laughs> but this is what the color looks like. Oh my gosh, it's just like this perfect little peach color. These are so creamy and blendable. I love it. Oh, and it just gives a really nice sheen to your cheeks. Um, it's definitely not sparkly. It's more like a satin based blush. So it does give you a touch of a glow to your cheeks and it just looks so pretty. I definitely recommend this for brides. It would just look so beautiful on the cheeks throughout the day and it'll just give you a natural flush. Love it. <laughs> and then I also got two OCC lip tars. Um, this is in the shade Kimber and then this is in the shade Pretty Boy. I love these kind of shades except I will tell you that this guy is a no-go when you wear it on your lips it's extremely patchy it settles into fine lines which completely sucks because i love this color actually i did a look with my lips um on the outside had this color and then i put this in the middle it looked so cool but this orange one just doesn't lay good on the lips it stinks I'm like <laughs> but so pretty 
I love OCC lip tars. They're completely vegan, which I really appreciate. And these colors are out of this world. Oh, I love it. But I really wish that this one didn't settle into the lines because it just looks really gross on the lips. I'm like, <laughs> so. And then this one is Pretty Boy. This one's really cute as well. It's like just like a different kind of pink. It's like a purpley pink almost. So swatch and this one. The littlest bit goes such a long way with these guys, which I really like because these tubes will last you forever. Oh my gosh, it is just amazing because the tiniest bit fills up your lip. It's like, woo, two YSL lipsticks. I know, I don't know why. Oh, that's just the smell of these things are incredible. Literally, they smell like watermelon candies. I love it. Um, and they're just really hydrating on the lips. They look beautiful, especially if you want to do a no makeup makeup look and you throw on one of these on your lips. It's just so natural. Um, and then number 14, it's just a really nice peach color. Can't deal with the packaging. Oh my god. There's that one. It's just like a nice peach color. And then the other one is in the shade 12. This is what that one looks like. It's just more of a watermelony peach. No, it's like a watermelon coral almost. So pretty for spring and summer. Can't even deal. <laughs> so yeah, that was interesting. Those are I've never tried YSL before, but I was blown away. And that smell. Oh I can't. So that was everything that I picked up from Sephora, and then I got two things from Ulta. This is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. Oh, I know I say this about every highlighter, but oh my gosh with this one. First of all, the product is so beautiful, and then the packaging is so, like, wonky. It's just like, it feels like, um, like e.l.f. packaging. I mean, no shame in e.l.f., I love e.l.f., but... Laura <laughs> but this is what it looks like I think it looks so cool it's just like a little swirl um and this is actually the highlighter that I'm wearing on my cheeks today it's just so beautiful <laughs> I cannot get enough it's a perfect gold highlighter so pretty on medium to dark skin tones oh my gosh absolutely perfect I am obsessed with this highlighter it's insane like if you can get your hands on it, I definitely recommend it. <laughs> and then I also got the Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow in the shade um, Metallic Pixie Dust. I've never tried these before, but I've heard so many people talking about them. It comes with a little primer that you put on this little tray. So you do one little drop of this onto the tray, and then you take some of the eyeshadow and drop it into there and it's cr it creates like a liquid eyeshadow that dries down. I could not get over the color of this. The sparkle, I really hope that the camera is picking this up because holy freaking crap. This is the most beautiful thing I've probably ever seen. <laughs> That's dramatic, but literally. Oh. I definitely recommend that you guys check these out because they're so interesting. They're different than any other shadow I've ever encountered in my whole life. So, that was fun. I was like, oh! Okay, I'm getting these lip glosses in my hair. Okay, so two things I picked up from MAC. Obviously, this collection. Um, I've been waiting so long for this collection just because I can't deal with the packaging. So this is the Studio Sculpt Defining Bronzing Powder from MAC. And this is what it looks like. This is in the shade Delicates. Um, I just like this to kind of put all over my face. It's not too pigmented, but it's pigmented enough where you can tell that you just kind of want to um, put a little bit of a contour. That's where I usually use it, is in the contours of my cheeks. Just to kind of give a little bit of um, definition. Nothing too dramatic. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed that. I think it looks nice. And then the lipstick I got was Morange. Oh my gosh. This color is so pretty. It's definitely such an orange color. Oh, this package. Let's see. It's such a pretty orange. I'm not a big MAC fan. I'm really not. That's what that one looks like. Um, but some of the packaging that they come out with is just so 
interesting to me. So the last three things are from my lovely friend Ashley for my birthday. She's actually a rep for Mary Kay, so I will leave her stuff down below if you guys kind of want to order any of this stuff that I show you. So this is the Mary Kay Lacquered Lip Shine in the shade in Exotic Orchid. This is such an awesome lip gloss. Oh my gosh, they're so pigmented, so shiny. I love how long they last on the lips. It's just so pretty, and I love this applicator. So you can, again, get precision, and it's a little curved, if you guys can see that. So this lip gloss is amazing, and it has... It doesn't have a smell, which is great, so if you're sensitive to smell, you would definitely love this lip gloss. Um, it's just so pigmented, and I can't get over this color. This color is everything. I was like, oh, so pretty. And then she also got me the Mary Kay Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover, which is awesome. I love makeup removers. And then she got me my favorite mascara. If you guys have been watching me since I first started my channel, I always talked about this mascara, the Mary Kay Lash Love, and I have not been able to get another one. So I was so excited that she got me this mascara because I love it. It is amazing. <laughs> the last things in this haul are from Lush. Woo -woo -woo. I never get to buy off of Lush, so I was happy that I was able to go one weekend. Um, because they just have fun stuff, you know? And some of their stuff just smells really good. So, the first thing here, I just had to replenish um, my Ocean Salt. This is a face and body scrub. I mainly just use it for my face. I also had to replenish on the Angels on Bare Skin. This is a milk cleanser. So, you just take a little bit of this and put it under water. Massage it all over your face. And it cleans your skin and it also puts a lot of moisture back into the skin. So, I really appreciate that stuff. It is so amazing. And then, I've never tried this before. This is the Big Sea Salt Shampoo. What it's supposed to do is give your hair a bunch of volume, and it really, really does. I thought that it was kind of like a gimmick at first, but when I first started using it and my hair dried, I would go like this, and my hair was like literally huge. It is insane. Next from Lush, I got the American Cream Hair Conditioner. This is what it says, bring all the boys to the yard with this strawberry vanilla milkshake conditioner. <laughs> So I thought that was funny. It smells really different. I wouldn't say it smells like strawberry and banana. It's more of like a really potent vanilla kind of scent. Um, this is just like their little version. I don't really like this stuff. Um, I just got the little one just to try. It's not really anything I would recommend. It doesn't really make your hair softer. So... <laughs> Next, I got the No Drought Dry Shampoo. Oh, this stuff smells amazing. Like lemons, just pure lemons. I put some in my hand, I rub my hands together, and then I just go like this, just to kind of um, help some of the oils in my hair. It works amazing. I really like that stuff. And I don't find that it leaves too much of a white residue in my hair, because I have really dark hair. And then the last thing I got from Lush, this was just like a little sample that they gave out. I love their little pods that they have for samples. This is the Helping Hands. This is a really hydrating hand cream, body cream, anything that you want to use it for. Just not on your face. It doesn't have much of a smell. It's more like a crisp scent, but it's very faint. It's just a pink lotion. Love that stuff. That was everything that I got in my haul and gratis from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this is going to be my last haul for a while. I really don't want to buy anything for a long time. <laughs> Even though that's very hard because I work at a makeup place and there's just so many new products coming out. It's insane. Have you guys seen that Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette? <gasps> so thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will talk to you guys soon.